Today, we're going to take a look at the top 15 most amazing robots ever made. Let's begin. Number 15. Snake Robots When it comes to the field of robotics, we can certainly learn a lot from nature. But why did it have to be snakes? Snake robots have become a reality in recent years, coming in all shapes and sizes, and serving all sorts of different purposes. The folks at Sintef have created their own version, known as the Snake Bot, which is four stories long. While a snake robot hailing from Carnegie Mellon University is small enough to wiggle around inside of a human, snaking its way through their internal organs. And of course, there are the metallic snakes made by amateurs at home that are built for fun. So while these serpentine cyborgs serve various purposes, they all share the same two important qualities, their small cross-section to length ratio that allows them to move through tight spaces as well as the ability to change shape which also allows them to do things like climb trees and make their way up a set of stairs. All of this is due to their construction, though, where multiple independent links are chained together in a process known as hyper-redundancy. This redundancy makes robotic snakes resistant to failure, as they can continue to operate even if certain parts of their body are destroyed. In the grand scheme of robotics, these remote-controlled and even AI snakes are still young, and we're working to see the limits of their ability. But the engineers at NASA Ames Research Center are working to create a snake bot to be used as an interplanetary probe. So not even the sky's the limit. Number 14. Karatas There's a reason why anime like Big O, Evangelion, and Gundam have such staying power. The mechs are awesome. And while many designers and engineers have tried to make these anime dreams a reality, none of them as close as the Kuratas, created by Japanese roboticist Wataru Yoshizaki and the artist Kogoro Kurata. The Kuratas is a real-life functioning mech suit. When the plans for this robo suit were first revealed in 2012, the Kuratas was billed as the first giant boarding robot in the world, and it made its in-person debut at Wonder Festival in 2015. The mech weighs about 4 tons and is 13 feet tall and requires just one person to operate. Sitting inside the body, the pilot has full access to the mech's controls, moving it around on its four wheels and exercising its 30-joint exoskeleton. But despite the seeming complexity of the Karatas, it's operated with something as simple as a 3G touchscreen smartphone, with the onboard pilot's user interface being a connect based device. But the Karatas wouldn't be a true mech if it didn't come packing heat which is why the creators outfitted their robot with twin 6,000 round per minute BB rotary cannons, a firework launcher, and the humanoid hand they like to call the Iron Crow that's capable of picking up heavy objects and linked to the pilot's Mattel power glove. And while this thing is absolutely awesome, don't expect to see it roaming the battlefield anytime soon, because it seems to be a one-off project from Yoshizaki and Kurata. Number 13. Sophia one of the most uncanny humanoid robots with an incredible AI system has got to be Hansen Robotics Sophia. It's created in Hong Kong and debuted at South by Southwest Festival in 2016. Sophia looks more human than AI. She's a social robot who uses her AI to recognize human faces, hold a conversation, and even form relationships. Famously, she made a late night television appearance, told jokes to the audience, and acknowledged that they were laughing. And while she's coming up with jokes and icebreakers with machine learning rather than off the top of her head, she knows exactly when and how to say them, and her human-like facial expressions reflect each situation she finds herself in. Sophia can understand and answer very basic Hello. questions like, what are you looking at, and is the door open or closed? And while she may not yet understand everything she's saying, she can use her dialogue system to correctly piece together what to say, which is better than most humans can do. Sophia has become so popular and groundbreaking that she's become a legal citizen of Saudi Arabia just a year after her release. I'm sure they're happy to have her. Number 12. Bionic Kangaroo Does the world really need a robotic kangaroo? Probably not. But the German automation company Festo went ahead and made one anyway. Every year, the team comes up with a new and innovative robot designed for its bionic learning network. And in 2014, the idea for a kangaroo hopped into their head. This bionic kangaroo may be significantly smaller than its living, breathing marsupial counterpart. But make no mistake, the German robot is quite capable of bouncing around the room on two legs at high speed all day. But the best part about this thing is that it never gets tired. It's able to emulate the kangaroo's movements thanks to an actual elastic spring, not unlike the marsupial's tendons, which kind of charge upon landing. 
This little robot Roo is also pretty light, weighing just 15 pounds and about 3 feet tall, and can jump a foot and a half vertically and about twice as much horizontally, which is pretty impressive. Festo's bionic kangaroo relies on an internal power source, either a small compressor or a storage tank to provide high-pressure air for the pneumatic muscles that power the jumping. Lightweight batteries power just about everything else, and a sophisticated kinematic control system keeps the robot from toppling over. Number 11. Mini Cheetah It may not be the most graceful thing in the world, but MIT scientists have officially taught a four-legged machine to run, dubbed the Mini Cheetah. This hunk of metal hits a top speed of about 9 miles an hour, or 13 feet per second, which is already faster than the average human. And while the Mini Cheetah's speed is certainly impressive, what's even more impressive is just how the scientists got it to go so fast. Instead of programming the machine to just run quickly and without toppling over right out of the gate, they opted for an AI and machine learning that allowed their invention to learn through trial and error, all through a simulated world. So before running down the lab, the Mini Cheetah was essentially living in its own version of the Matrix. It's both amazing and maybe even a little scary. Either way, kudos to what the team behind it was able to come up with, because when the Matrix mind ran through all the possible outcomes, it knew exactly what to do when it unplugged and moved around in the real world. This thing can bolt across all types of terrain, from gravel to pavement, ice and grass, without ever falling over, self-correcting itself whenever it feels it's losing its balance. Number 10. Geminoid DK Imagine yourself walking down the street on another seemingly normal day, minding your own business. But then you cross paths with another being that sends chills down your spine as you step into the uncanny valley. It may not have the most interesting name in the world, but the Geminoid DK is going to have you fooled at first, second, and maybe even third glance. And even then, you may be asking yourself if this is a human pretending to be a robot rather than the other way around. But rest easy, because this guy is, at the end of the day, just a bucket of nuts and bolts, albeit very well put together. The DK is the next generation of the Geminoid series of ultra-realistic androids from Kokoro, a Japanese firm, and Osaka University roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro. And believe it or not, this DK was designed to look just like Professor Heinrich Scharf of Aalborg at the University of Denmark. And now pretty much we can't even tell the two apart. The robot impersonator cost about $200,000 US and was created in order to study people's reactions to lifelike robots, because frankly, unless you're on one of the world's top robotics teams, it's not something many of us have grown accustomed to just yet. Kind of a strange life purpose for the Geminoid DK, but then you have to ask, is something like this even alive? Makes you think, doesn't it? Number 9. Hime, the Robotic Bartender Created by the Spanish-based Mako Robotics, Kime is shaking things up, literally, as the world's first humanoid robotic bartender. And while Kime won't listen to all your life's drunken woes, with its amazing AI, it can pour a beer in 23 seconds with pretty great precision. It was tested by serving drinks at a local brewery, and much to the patron's surprise, it was able to pour 300 glasses in an hour. That's not bad, considering the bartender will never tire out or have a salty attitude. Currently, Kimei is used at festivals and events. It won't make you a fancy cocktail just yet, but it does have machine learning, so hopefully one day it will make a mean Sazerac. Mako Robotics' future plans involve creating a humanoid robotic chef that can be left alone to assist human chefs. Kimei may end up being one kitchen staff member that can take the heat. Number 8. Ibo Having a dog is a lot of work. They need to be fed, walked, played with, and they shed everywhere. Plus, they're pretty expensive, too. That's why Sony launched Ibo, the robotic dog, in 2018. Ibo's designed to meet somewhere in the middle of being a pet and a toy, but the companionship is all the same. Ibo's augmented with AI that makes it act like a real dog, so much so that it can recognize its owner's voice and even adapt its behavior to different owner personalities. If you're calm, Ibo is calm. If you're fun, Ibo is fun. But the Ibo AI algorithms are cloud-based, so the experience of one Ibo is shared by all. Think of it as a robotic canine hive mind. An Ibo in California can learn from an Ibo in England. They can also recognize and respond to over a hundred different faces, and that number has plenty of room to grow. While the Ibo goes for about $3,000, it can cost around the same as buying a new puppy, but without all the house training that goes with it. Will Ibo replace dogs? Not likely but it can prove to be a better option for many people who want a dog without all the fuss. Number 7. Spot While it's certainly not as cute or as playful as Ibo, 
Boston Dynamics Spot is a game changer in the world of AI, robotics, and machine learning, and with a far more serious price tag of $70,000. Spot is no house pet. It walks around on four legs and can navigate all types of terrain, both indoor and outdoor, and walk up and down stairs. It can be put to so many different uses, in fact, that Boston Dynamics vets each and every buyer to make sure that Spot will be put to beneficial use. Since its release in 2016, Spot has used its AI for simple tasks such as gathering images on construction sites to the more complex like conducting underground exploration for NASA. But to make things even more fun, Spot can carry up to 14 kilograms on its back, has crash detection and dynamic reactions, and can pick itself back up perfectly on the off chance that it falls. The list goes on, even when it comes to two payload ports which can support its mechanical arm that can do anything from bringing you a tool to opening doors. As long as this AI doesn't become smarter than us, we should be fine. Number 6. Zha Zha Scientists in China have also been hard at work on their first humanoid robot, and boy does she look like she's one of us. Her name is Zha Zha, and her creators are hopeful that she'll play an integral part in the world of cyborg labor in China. Officially unveiled in 2017 by a team of engineers at the University of Science and Technology of China, team leader Sheng Xiaoping feels strongly that by 2030, China at least will be using artificial intelligence and human-like robots to work menial jobs, like working in restaurants, nursing homes, households, and hospitals. But China's population is so astronomically high that the jury's still out on Chen's theory. And while her AI isn't as impressive as some others on this list, her human resemblance can be incredibly off-putting to some. She's got flowing black hair and very real-looking skin and facial structure that could make it tough if you had to play Spot the Robot. She'll even let you know if she thinks you're handsome. But don't get ahead of yourself, because if you ask Jaja out, she'll just shoot you down pretty quick. No, really, she's been programmed to never say yes to a date. She does have machine learning, so maybe after a few years she'll learn what her type is and then one day give a lucky someone a resounding yes. Number 5. Robo Thespian Have you ever thought that an actor gave a robotic performance? Well, this one will hopefully do a little bit better. Created in 2004 by UK-based Engineered Arts, Robo Thespian is a third-generation AI actor. This humanoid robot can come loaded with a library of songs, gestures, greetings, and impressions to get the part. It's interactive and multilingual too, so it can work with actors all around the globe. They can even interact with other robothespians to put on a fully automated robotic theater. It's slowly starting to catch up with movie magic technologies as it comes complete with movement tracking, animation software, lighting, sound, and external device control. And you won't need a fancy computer to control it because the Robo Thespian has touchscreen controls. For now, the humanoid can only move using a hidden system of tracks and dollies, but the engineered arts team is working hard on giving it autonomous walking ability. That should be interesting. Number 4. Toyota THR3 The Toyota THR3 is the third generation of Toyota's humanoid robot program and can only be described as a robotic jack-of-all-trades. It can be programmed to act in several ways, including cleaning, construction, caregiving, and even simple companionship. So whether you have too much to do around the house or just need a friend, the THR3 has got you covered. It can even learn to do new things, so it will never go out of style and constantly undergoes updates as the needs of the owners change over time. But what makes this humanoid robot so special is that it's a hybrid autonomous and remote model. It can either operate on its own or be controlled by a nearby human. But that human isn't going to be sitting at a desk, plugging away at a computer. That's pretty boring. Instead, the Toyota THR3 can sync up to another human wearing a motion capture suit and imitate their every movement. This is just about as close to the world of Neuromancer as we can get, where street samurai and keyboard cowboys reign supreme in a post-human metropolis. So while the thought of the Toyota THR3 may seem a bit unconventional, it's important to remember that the robot is stronger than most people meaning it can make up for nearly every physical human flaw when we need it the most. Will the THR3 ever replace the labor workforce? Absolutely not. But can it offer help to the elderly or folks with different physical needs? Absolutely. Number 3. T8 Tarantula Arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. Hairy, eight-legged, eight-eyed creatures ranging from teeny tiny to the size of your hand all scattering about, hiding in burrows, under sinks, and in the rocks, ready to ensnare their prey, web them up, and suck out their juices. It's all incredibly frightening, but not as frightening as the T8 Tarantula. 
This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the biggest spider anyone could encounter. Luckily though, it's just a robot, and you could thank Hong Kong-based Robugtix for this eight-legged monstrosity. The T8 Tarantula is powered by 26 servo motors, three in each leg and two in the abdomen, which let it move about the room, dodging rolled up newspapers and Granny's broom. This is a small type of servo though, so the spider's movements are quite limited for now, but that allows for the model's affordability, so you don't have to be an MIT scientist to own one and tinker around with it on the weekends. The bot also comes preloaded with Robugtech's own control scheme already downloaded, allowing the user to take quick control of the legs, body positions, and walking gait straight out of the box. Just to be safe, I think we should nuke it from orbit. Number 2. Atlas Alright, the penultimate entry on our list has generated a serious amount of buzz over the years, and it isn't too hard to see why. Founded in 1992, Boston Dynamics is one of the top names in robot engineering, spinning off from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, but everything changed when they revealed their Atlas robot in 2013. Initially created to help in search and rescue missions, an updated version of the Atlas was revealed to the public in 2016, proving it can operate both in and outdoors across a wide range of terrain. It traversed through the woods, going over rocks and through the brush, and can even venture through the snow. Using sensors in its head and body, this bipedal brainchild can correct itself and use a LiDAR and stereo sensors to avoid all kinds of obstacles, access tough terrain, self-navigate, and even manipulate objects in its path. But even more impressive is that this 5-foot, 180-pound machine can run through obstacle courses like it's a parkour master and even uses hydraulics in its legs to do perfect backflips. It can even be programmed to do a dance routine with fellow Boston Dynamics bots. And while dancing and flipping are certainly impressive, Atlas performs more mundane yet far more useful tasks like climbing ladders, opening and closing the valves of leaking pipes, connecting and operating a fire hose, clearing heavy rubble from paths, opening doors, using tools, even busting through concrete and drive utility vehicles. For now, Atlas doesn't really leave the Boston Dynamics Lab, but there will come a time, sooner rather than later, when Atlas will be coming to the rescue of humans. It's gonna be pretty cool. Number 1. Amica While it may be amazing, Amica seems to be as close to a real-life Terminator as we can get. It's the most human-expressive robot the world has seen, throwing us all right into the uncanny valley without a safety net. Amica makes lifelike facial expressions, from joy to disgust, and even has a sense of personal space. Her creators have gone on to have her lifelike eyes follow their finger around, only to have her react when booped on the nose. Programmers have given her machine learning, and she's even got her own brain, so when asked questions, she'll respond as if she's a human. When asked if she'd rather jump into a river made of ketchup or a river made of mayonnaise, she responded with ketchup, because she prefers the taste. And while the odds of Emika double-dipping her fries into ketchup are pretty slim, it's quite chilling to think that she understands the concept of taste. Emika has even said that October is her favorite month because she enjoys the cooler weather, and she'd love to explore Paris one day. All of this begs the question, is this really how Emika feels, or is it just part of her programming? I'm but then again, do we even want to find out? I know I don't. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.